Hey, if you're frustrated or have ever felt like quitting the game of golf, today's video is for you. Hey, welcome to the channel today. Look, I wanna to talk to you about something that is very dear to my heart when it comes to me teaching and coaching the game of golf because I'm not a quick fix guy and you know that because you've watched my channel and you've seen me. I'm not here to fix your swing. And I know that sounds weird because you're probably watching this channel thinking, hey, Todd's gonna give me a tip today. I'm not gonna give you a tip today, but I am gonna solve every single swing problem that you have right here today. Believe it or not, I will solve that for you in this video. So if you're one of those guys that has struggled with the game, like many people do, it's a hard game, right? It's a very difficult game. The statistics show that the average male golfer barely breaks 100. So I, can, I know that this game is hard, but I wanna help you rethink a few things today. And in, that, in doing that, I wanna show you how with what you learned from me today, you can take this information and start really, really learning a game of golf and a golf swing that's gonna help you in the future. Here's what I do know though. I know that you learned the game backwards. I know that you already did this. And I'm gonna explain what I mean by that. Here's what you probably did, because this is what 99.9% .9 of people do. They run out, they get a set of clubs from their parent or hand-me-down or friend or garage sale or find a set of clubs and like, I want to learn how to play this game of golf, or your friends drag you out to play, and you run out there and you put a golf ball on the ground, you have no idea what you're doing, and you start swinging away. You start hitting a golf ball or trying to hit a golf ball, and no one's good at it at first. I've never seen one person in the history of the thousands of people I've watched play golf, whether it's an amateur or, or a person that's a very beginner, when they first start playing the game of golf, no one's any good at it because you have to learn this skill. And when you grabbed that club and you ran out of your garage and you started swinging away, you were terrible like everybody else. And let me tell you why that's backwards. It's backwards because no, no other thing that you would ever learn that's a mechanical, skill or playing the piano or learning how to ride a bike or anything else, you would never do it that way. You would never learn how to drive a car by going on a highway and going 90 miles an hour. You'd never learn to play a piano by putting your keys all over the keyboard, right? How would you learn to play the piano? You learn the notes first. Well, the notes in a golf swing are the positions of the swing, are they not? And so when you learn the notes, and then you learn the chords, which are the notes being put together, and then you learn the movement of the hands, all of a sudden you can play some music, right? But you have to learn the notes first, then you gotta learn the chords, then you gotta learn where to move the hands. And then when you learn to sequence it all together and add speed, the correct speed to it, you're playing music. That's exactly how you should learn the golf swing, but that's not how you learned it. So today, let's talk about learning the golf swing in the correct order, how you should learn it, and what you can do right now to be learning a golf swing for the rest of your life, that's gonna be a, a great way to hit a golf ball for you. So I want you to do this. This is what I call my magic formula. I've been talking about this recently. This is what I've been talking about, is there is a formula for learning a golf swing. I'm gonna give it to you right here. The first thing is what I call address, address and grip. Address the ball and learn how to grip the club. I did not say grip and address. You've seen my channel. I do not believe you should be gripping the club before you put the club down because you, you got to orient the body into a, a correct position. So if I put my body in position here and I orient the tilt, this is very similar to where I be at impact. Then I place my hands. I learn the address position. There's the ideal address position. You can see the alignment of the club in the arm. You can see that I have the single plane alignment with my trail arm in the club. So now I'm in the easiest place to start hitting a golf ball. So that's the first step for you, address and grip. I'm, I'm stepping you back from that time you learn to play and I'm teaching you the notes of the golf swing. Hey, I hope you're enjoying this video. Listen, if you want more content just like this, I have a community of single plane golfers just like you with a bunch of free instruction where you can learn the single plane swing. It's at singleplaneacademy.com. You can also go to singleplanesswing.com and learn all about our single plane community. Inside the single plane community, you can meet golfers just like yourself and get instruction from me for free when you wanna learn the single plane swing. So I'll see you inside the single plane community. So there's the first note, learn the address and grip. That's, what, that's the first place I would start you. What's the second thing I would do for you? Positions of the swing. The next thing I'm gonna do is say, okay, from this uh, ideal address and grip, you need to learn how to move the club into the back swing. Here's position one, and then leverage. Leverage is where you get speed, leverage the club. So when you, when you learn this, and then you learn leverage, notice that there's a lot to that. It's not just take the club back. Notice how I'm going back so far, 
and then my arms and shoulders take the glow back the rest of the way. So you must learn that. That's learning to play the proper notes, right? I'm learning how to get the club in the proper position. It just doesn't go there. I had to learn that position. This arm has to learn to bend. You have to learn to fold this arm up while this one stays straight. So while this one's staying pretty straight, this one can bend and that leverages the club. It's, it's a note, you're learning that. The next thing you learn to do from this backswing position is you learn to, to shift your weight. I don't like that word, I like to transition. Stabilize and then rotate the body until you get to this next position and then impact position, then extension to position five, and then finish. Now notice, I can hold finish. So I can hold each one of these positions. One, two, transition, three, impact four, extension five, and then six. Okay, why did I just do that? Here's the thing. If you don't know, if you can't go through every note of the swing, I'm, I'm using that analogy, every position of the swing, if you can't do that, how the heck can you expect to do it quickly? That's a fair question. And it's also the kind of question that's common sense. If you can't do that, that things I just did there, position by position, there's no way you can put that into a sequence because the next thing you gotta do is once you know those positions, now I'll, I'll make a really easy, I'll just do this in sequence, I'm not gonna hit the ball yet. One, two, transition, three, impact four, extension five, six. One, two, so now I can blend them. Right? So now I can blend those positions together. So watch this. Now, so now I now I'm I'm learning how to sequence those positions, put them together, right? Put them together. Then what's the what's the next piece of this puzzle? Speed. But there's no way I can add speed and acceleration to this motion if I don't know how to hit the positions. If I don't know the notes on the piano, I cannot play the music. I don't care where I put my hands, if they if not going to the right places, there's not gonna be the right music coming out. So now that I know the positions, I can then put this thing in motion. I don't have to swing hard. Because I'm doing it, I'm leveraging the club, I just let it go. So notice what happened there. I just gave you the ideal formula for building your golf swing. It's one you should have learned from the beginning, but you didn't, so okay. So what are you gonna do now? And this is where you're running into problems watching my channel, watching YouTube. I think this is the worst place, by the way, to learn the golf swing. Because you probably watched a video where I'm talking about the backswing and you haven't learned the address and grip yet. Again, you have to do it in the proper order. You have to learn the positions, then you can sequence it and add speed. This is how all skills are learned. Playing the piano, if you want to learn to, if you want to learn to bake a cake. You gotta have the proper ingredients at the proper time with the proper amounts, right? You don't just throw it all into a pan and hope it cooks. So, or bakes, it's a, but that's what I'm saying is that you have to learn in the proper way and you didn't learn the proper way. So this should be a very important video for you because you, here's what I want you to do. If you're really serious about finally, if you're thinking about quitting the game or you're frustrated, this is where you really need to dig down deep and say, okay, start from scratch. Let's build a golf swing. Let's start from address and grip. Let's hit these positions correctly. And you will be surprised at the, the skill you can develop at hitting a golf ball. Heck, if I can do it, you can do it. There, I'm no more talented than anybody else, but I've just learned how to do this and I understand the learning process. All right, here we go again. So address and grip, everything feels great. Got my positions. Look at that, it's beautiful. So. Here's my formula for you. I'm gonna go through it one more time. You must learn the address and grip. That's number one. Number two, you must learn the positions you're moving your body into. And these are things you must learn to stop and check your positions. You must learn positions of your body. Number three, put it into a sequence. Learn to move through the position slowly. Can you move through them? Because sequence includes how you stop the body. Not only is it how you move, it's how you're stopping the body. So learning the sequence, and then you add speed. Notice the, the progressive of that. Now here's the thing about it. I have a training program that teaches you the progressive formula of learning exactly what I taught you from the start all the way to the finish. It teaches you the braking system, everything I need to know. Click the link in the video. Seriously, if you're serious about me helping you build a swing, go to my description in this video. 
click the link and join my single plane 30 program and it starts we only do it once a month so we have one coming up each month join my program and I will help you build a swing I didn't do today's video as a promotional piece this is always the way I teach you is to progressively train you correctly hope you enjoyed that thanks for joining me give me a bell give me a bell icon give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video